You're listening to Eat, Play, Sex with Dr. Cat, the place to uplevel that sexy life of yours, with expert talk on sex, love, and nutrition. How did you? How did you get into? Uh, how did you discover that this was something that was helpful around sex? I, like you, grew up in a very cannabis negative environment. I'm from rural Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. And I was taught that um, drugs are bad and people who do drugs are bad. Mm-hmm. And so cannabis in in my youth upbringing was as bad as heroin. And so I was very afraid of it for a long time until I got to grad school and was studying philosophy. And it turns out most philosophy students are stoners. <laughs> to absolutely no one's surprise. Because like legitimately, how are you going to get through Heidegger if you're not stoned? Like- <laughs> so I smoked intentionally for the first time <clears throat> in grad school and it was so wonderful and so pleasant. I was with people who were safe and that felt fantastic, but I was still in Pennsylvania and mm-hmm. like any other prohibition state, you don't have choices. There are no strains. There are no products. There is either weed or no weed. Those are mm-hmm. your options. And So it wasn't until I moved to California in 2013 that I actually got to experience medical cannabis. And I was like, oh, this is interesting. I can actually choose how I want to feel. And I am a sexual assault survivor. So I experienced pain with penetration from the time I was 13 Mm. until my late twenties when I found a cannabis product that you actually apply to your genitals, put it on your pussy, let it marinate for 15 minutes. And that allowed me to have penetrative sex without pain for the first time. And my brain exploded because at that point I had been a sex educator since 2007. This was Mm -hmm. 2014. So seven years of being a sex educator and having mediocre sex that was painful at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And that was like a really hard juxtaposition for me. And so this allowed me to be like, okay, there is a whole area of sexuality that I don't know any professionals who are talking about in the community. Let's dive into this. And Canisexual was born. That's so fascinating that you say that because there, there was an experience that I had, there was only one experience with marijuana that I had. And that was with around sex, around sex. I've had other experiences, but, um, around sex. And I remember I was 25 and I was with my boyfriend at the time. And, and I just could not get my body couldn't relax into it. And now I also have history of sexual trauma and, and he invited that into our play session together. And I took a little bit and then my whole body just melted. And then I had felt myself really open up there where I hadn't before. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know that I ever actually made that connection because I never used it afterward for that particular thing. Wow. Yeah, that makes sense that that would be your experience. and, And I'm thinking about this now, and I think probably because cannabis hasn't always had good reactions on me. Like I've had it at times and I fall asleep or I've had it at times and I've gotten really anxious or I've had it at times and gotten vertigo, like really dizzy and nauseous. And that just completely turned me off from that medicine entirely. Mm -hmm. Is there, maybe you can walk us through like what, what would somebody need to know about cannabis? Like, is, is there a, a procedure that you would guide them through to be able to help them to create the experience that they want and not one like what I've experienced? Yes, absolutely. I'm so glad you asked because all cannabis is not created equal and we are all very different. Like the most common question I get asked is like, what's the best strain for sex? And it's like, mm. well, how the fuck should I know? Like, I don't know what your body chemistry is like, what your, what your um, metabolism and tolerance are like. And I don't have any direct control over your surroundings because as we know, Mm. with any medicine set and setting are really crucial. Being in a calm place, being in a relaxed headspace, having a really clear intention about what you are trying to accomplish when engaging with any plant medicine is really important. And the field research that goes in, like, this is not something where you like 
pick up a mystery joint that somebody handed you at a party six months ago and spark it up and then go have sex and hope for the best. Like you can do that, but it is probably not going to end well for you. Uh So it really requires a little bit of planning. And what that looks like and what I tell clients and people who come to my workshops is when you get a new strain or product, start with smelling it. Our nose knows if it smells good to you, if you're like, Ooh, I love that. Or like just something in it makes, it's like a yes in your body. It's probably going to go pretty well for you. If you smell it and you're like, Oh, mm -mm, nope, not put it down, walk away. Yeah. And so once you've chosen that product, then do just a little bit, whether you're smoking or vaping. Um, I just had uh, Dr. Jordan Tischler, who's a Harvard MD and a cannabis medicine specialist on my podcast last week. And he was talking about like a puff is take inhale, fill your lungs up to capacity and exhale. That is one puff. Um, so start with one puff, wait 10 minutes and then masturbate and notice what happens in your body when you try to move into a sexual space with this medicine flowing through your veins. Are you more sensationally focused? Do you feel really engaged? Are you stuck in your, are you stuck in your head? Or are you like connected to your body? Notice if pleasure is more or less accessible, all of those kinds of things. And then write it down because cannabis, short-term memory, not friends. <laughs> oh. So keep a little notepad or a journal or a note on your phone, like whatever it is, and just be like, this is what I took, how much I took, how quickly the, the effects set in, how long they lasted and what I noticed. And then when you do go into partnered sexy space, you can reach very intentionally for the things that are going to get you where you want to go. Lovers, thank you again for tuning in. If you enjoyed the show, hit subscribe and head over to eatplaysex.com to connect with me and grab my sexy guides. Because my goal here is to get you to eat, play, and sex better so you can improve your sex life which will improve every aspect of your life. Until next time, keep it sexy.